Hello and welcome to another Unmet Style Design Podcast. I'm Gene. I'm Jay. And today we're going to talk through calls to action. And basically, uh, a call to action is something on your website that compels a visitor or a user to take action. So we're assuming that they've gotten to your site, they're interested in what you have, and they want to do something next. So we want to tell them what to do next. Right. You might want to buy something. You might want sign to just like app, sign up, download something. Explore. Just explore. Maybe you want them to get the, basically get past the homepage. Something like that. Yeah. So we're going to look at a few sites here that are employing calls to action. Yeah. So, yeah, so when, when, when we're looking at a site and uh, kind of seeing what the call to action is, uh, you know, we want to look for uh, how, how prominent it is, is it clear, and is it obvious when I click on that, what's going to happen? Yeah, does it communicate yeah. to me what I'm going to be doing? Right. 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 And, is it, and, it, and is, it, is it appropriate uh, uh, after looking at a site for a few seconds? Uh, is it a, is the wording appropriate? Right. right. Does it make sense? Right. So in in you know the terms of, in our business they call that microcopy. Mm-hmm. So we'll be looking at some microcopy too. Yeah. So uh, for, first a, a book apart. Uh, this is a really really cool site, but the call to action is is great. It's got a nice. Uh, there's a lot of contrast. Uh, you got this green. It's the only green on the page. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And uh, That's really it's got this orange t- type that kind of ties into the book and just really. Kind of like draws your eye here. It's kind of like arch right. over here. And then, but then when I see it, it's like it's really clear what's going to happen. I'm That's pre-ordering right. it. Cost eighteen dollars. You know, there's no, there's, there's no, yeah. there's no confusion. That's giving um, me all the info I need before right. I even click on that thing. Right. You know. Now, and it, now it, it may, may or may not be presumptuous that I may or may not be ready to buy the book at, 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 at this point. Sure. However, this is a one. This is a single purpose site. Right. The, that's the only thing that it does is sell the book. This one book. So this is, I think, really appropriate. Absolutely. For this, I would agree. It's a great example to start off with. Yeah. Let's go to to Joyent. Um, this is a. I guess they do cloud-based computing. Right. It's like hosting. Uh, I think cloud-based hosting. Right. Yeah. Sorry. You know, cloud computing. Maybe. Yeah. You know. Anyway. Uh. So so anyway, the, uh, it's a really nice looking looking uh, website, and uh, the call to action uh, for me uh, is uh, this try it now. Right. right. Yeah, it's kind of. I would agree with that. It's kind of small, um, but it's still prominent. Well, visually, you know? it's small but mighty. Right. Right. Yeah. It really kind of sticks out. It's yep. in this little area here. It's, this white space above and below it. So it's pretty effective in in getting my eye down to that. Right. You know, um, I, I do kind of have a little quibble with the the the, the terminology. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I don't think it's appropriate try, at all. Try it now. Because um, chances of me reading this paragraph and then being ready to try try this out, pretty right. pretty, pretty pretty slim. I, I think at this point, most likely a user is going to want to find out how much something like this cost. Yeah, it's also yeah. misleading. I mean, even if the, you, I mean this is hosting, right? You're not going to click a button and try it. I mean, even once right. you fill out the form to sign up, you're right. not going to try it right away. I mean, it's right. hosting. It's more involved than yeah. that. So it's, it's misleading to you in the first place. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it does again have the secondary kind of fallback view of the details, right? But um, it just seems it almost seems slightly premature. It you know, very much so for, for your for your average user. Well, when we compare this to the next sample, which is um, Basecamp, which you know is legendary call to action work that they put in here with their AMB testing and all the stuff. Yeah, the yeah, if you read through their blog, they talk yeah. a little bit about how they you they, can go find that out. They, they they came to this, but they've realized early on, or maybe not early on, but they've realized over time that. The call to action for them is not purchase. The call to action for them is to continue shopping. It's right. to learn more, to, to, to get more to, to info. Out, right. Right. It's to continue your path. Right. Right. So the third step of this might be to sign up, but their immediate step is to see how much it costs. Right. Right. They realize that, you know, it's it's not about the sell right away. It's right. about learning. So. Right. And and the, and the reality is most sites, if they use something like you know buy it now or try whatever. You're not. You're still not buying it at that next stage. That's right. Right. That's right. You know, you just, there's still steps to go through. Yeah, and people realize that. Yeah. So their next step is C plans and pricing, and right. I, I think that's a really, mm-hmm. it's a really good copy on that mm-hmm. call to action. Mm-hmm. That's what we want to do. All right. So this is a pretty pretty funky little site. Uh, it's kind of cool. I of guess it's, it's something that's uh, I guess in, in beta or something like that or uh, invite only. Yep. Right. So, but so what, what I think is kind of cool. Um, this this is the the apply below. It's the the call to action mm-hmm. is that really the only thing you can do on this site. So you click on apply below, and you know, right? It takes you below <laughs> uh, yeah. to do that. But what I like about this is that it's really clear. It's telling me that I'm not going to get in there right away. Right. Because I have to actually apply for this. This is, right. you know, not something that I can just sign up for and, and dig right in. So it's it's effective. Yes. Right. So visual notion. Yeah. 
this is sort of a we're gonna look at a couple of like creative uh, portfolio, portfolio yeah. uh, you know freelance designer or whatever type yeah. websites here and, and you, you had something you were thinking about this one oh yeah I, th- I just think this is a really really effective um, bit of uh, bit of copy the co- copy and, and, and kind of enticement to get me to, to, to keep going right you know um, I like how the copy and the image play together well, you, right, right. It, it, make, it makes sense. It's not just like, hey, this is a funny photograph. But it's really, this photograph really, really stands out. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but this, you know, we've got this learn more. It's, it's bold and it's all caps. And nothing yeah. else on there is bold and all caps. That's right. But it's yeah. also, I mean, even yeah. though that's bold and all caps, it's also not that overpowered. It doesn't overpower. It's really actually small. Yeah. But uh, it's right smack dab in the center. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's how, like, you know, a call to action doesn't have to be like, big, look at me. Exactly. You know. A big orange button. Right. It doesn't, it, does, it doesn't have to be. Right. This next one, which is a kind of a similar thing, it's a portfolio. Uh, this person wants you, or this company wants you to kind of keep going through their site, looking through it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's really what you want to do when you're looking at somebody's portfolio site. Yeah. But I'm really kind of confused as to what they want me to do. I think when you're when you're making a call to right. action, you know, you need you need to decide what's the most important thing. You know, and I need to give the user an idea of what that most important. Right. Thing I want to is. shove them off the cliff. Right. Basically. Right. You want to say like click here now. I'm not necessarily yeah. click here now, but well, in know, theory. But but, but, it, but it have a command as opposed to a, a link. That's right. But this is not necessarily. This is like so navigation. Do you want? Yeah. So I'm lo- I'm looking at this thinking. Do you want me to read more about you, or do you want me to see your work? Right. Which is more important to you? Right. Um, I, I have no way of knowing that. From yeah. This. To be constructive about this, I think a, a single, um, a single direction, a single link with a single call to action where it explains what I'm going to do right. would be very appropriate for that that position right. and that way that's designed on right. this page. Right, exactly. All right, so let's keep going. And this is, a, again, a, a third, I guess, portfolio type, right. you know, uh, this is maybe more like a resume type site. But anyway, but you can find out about this, this guy who's an um, uh, information architect, web developer. Uh, the really thing I really like about this is that this is uh, a soft sell. Yeah, it's of, the soft uh, sell call to action. You know, call to action. Because <laughs> uh, he's, he's, he's kind of there's a lot of, uh, I guess, bravado and ego that goes on with a lot of people's <laughs> right. uh, online uh, personas, and he's kind of like putting it out there, saying like, "I think you're going to like me when you read about me, mm-hmm. and if you want to find some more out about it, just find, you know, you can re- read this. It's a smaller type. It's really kind of soft. It's like you have an idea, you're interested. And the, the terminology is you know, nice. Yeah, I'm available. Get, yeah, I'm available. You know, get in touch. I love, you know, I love to hear from you. It's very very soft, it's very yeah. friendly. It's not, you know, hire me, I'll kick ass. Right, exactly. Yeah, it's not it's, beating it's your like, head with anything. It's like, I'm good, so, kick right, me out. Right, it exudes uh, confidence. It really does. Yeah. Um, we got to uh, add this. Add yeah, this. Everybody's probably seen these little uh, widget things everywhere. Yeah. Uh, this, is really, this is a really, like, this is not a very, I wouldn't say it's a very attractive site. You know, I mean, it's really right. just kind of basic. Right. Um, uh, doesn't do a whole lot, but it does it really well because uh, I, I think, you know, uh, Visually, uh, moving your eye around the screen, it does it really well. Cause you got this orange over here, and then you read this, and then you kind of like it's yeah. got, again, it's got this kind of arc, you know, kind of yeah. like the um, uh, the the list of part one did. It's a similar kind of thing. It's the same F move. Yeah, you kind of like you yeah. kind of draw on your eye across here, and then this is what you what you do. And now it's a form, but you can really just click that. Yeah. You do one, one click, and you get a button. Yeah, it is. Con- you know? the form is configured by default to be um, a, a set of this JavaScript it's, generator for anybody. It's going to work on anything. Yeah. So yeah. you can just click yeah. that button, get yeah. your button. Yeah, so this is actually re- really effective. I think you know, so. Make sharing easy, you know, get your button. So let, let's go, and this next one is a, a similar uh, thing where it's a um, something I guess you embed on, is that right, you, you embed these things on your side? I'm not or, sure what you do yeah. with this one. But it's anyway, like it's, an online contest right. platform thing. Right, but anyway, th- this is, like it's a nice looking site, but to me, I'm really confused as to what, as to what the call to action is. You know? Yeah, you've got two buttons it, that are treated the same. They're, they're almost the same size. Um, create a contest versus try it now. Like, they probably have the same result. I'm not sure. Um, what am I trying? Am I trying to set one up, or am I trying to right. take part in right? But the but the um, oh, that's good. That's a good point. Uh, but the reality is, is that they go to the exact same link right. about how much it costs, and you, none of this says find out how much it costs. But that's really what that's the only right. thing you're going to do. Right. And it's find out how much it costs. It is a cost based yeah. app too. Yeah, which is fine, but. Um, there's the hierarchy doesn't doesn't let me know which is important and doesn't tell me what they want me to actually right. click on. Right. So, so that that was our talk about. Yep. Uh, Grab the set. Hopefully, hopefully we helped you out a little bit.